designer babies. No, I'm not talking about babies that wear designer clothes like Burberry or Badgley Mishka or name another designer, not my area of expertise. Uh, No, I'm talking about the evil kind of designer babies. Uh, I mean, more evil than the idea of a baby barfing all over a Burberry bib. Um, I'm talking about the kind of baby that you design to your exact specifications, uh, which is the sort of thing that has been broached in many a dystopia, like the movie Gattaca, for instance. Uh, Super babies, if you will. If I could design a baby, I would make it so that it was born knowing how to use the toilet and never screaming. Also, it would be born with a job so it could take care of me in my old age, i.e. now. But in the books and movies, it's usually more about designing a baby to be super intelligent and super attractive. I mean, growing up to be attractive. I don't think the point is just to make attractive babies. That would, that would be weird. We as a society are actually pretty close to being able to achieve this. Um, There's a tool called CRISPR, which stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. CRISPR is a way to edit the genes in a cell, allowing you to snip DNA and replace that DNA with new DNA, or to make certain genes turn on and off. For years, this method has been used in experiments on yeast, plants, non-human animals, uh, and very occasionally on non-viable human fetuses. There was a general agreement in the scientific community that this new technology was nowhere near refined enough to actually use on the human germline. Uh, That is human DNA that is edited and then can be passed down to the next generation because that's serious fucking business at that point. So it came as a bit of a surprise when a Chinese researcher announced in a fucking YouTube video that not only was he going ahead with editing the genes of viable human fetuses, but that twin girls named Lulu and Nana had already been born with his modifications in place. And then he went to the International Human Genome Editing Summit and informed everyone there that he's quite proud of what he's done. And by the way, there's already another baby on the way with more of his modifications in place. Uh, It's like if Dr. Moreau suddenly showed up at a genetics conference in 2018 and said, oh yeah, I've been making donkey people for years just because it's pretty awesome. Why do you all look so angry? Did you not listen to my podcast series about it? He Jiankui actually just sounds worse and worse the more you learn about him. He got potential parents who were HIV positive to agree to participate in this by telling them that he was working on an HIV AIDS vaccine that would ensure that their children could never contract the disease, failing to mention anything about gene editing. Scientists suspect that if a person's CCR5 gene is mutated, then HIV can't use it as a portal to other cells, effectively making a person immune to that disease. So that's what he was going for. Unfortunately, he couldn't ensure that all of the cells that he was implanting actually received the DNA edit, while at least one definitely resulted in a CCR5 gene with extra amino acids. He claims the parents understood all of the risks involved in this, but we have no way of knowing, since all we have is his word that he very clearly explained it to them. Now that the twins have been born, sequencing their genes uh, was unable to show that their DNA was correctly altered. And instead of an actual peer-reviewed paper to examine, all scientists have is his YouTube videos and interviews with the press and his slides at this conference to judge whether or not this can be called a success. Other geneticists have looked at the few data points that he has made public, and one, Sean Ryder, pointed out that the actual resulting genes have been edited in a way completely unlike anything that's actually been studied, so we have no idea what the result will be. Will the girls be immune to HIV? Maybe. Will they have tails? Who knows? It's fucked up because Lulu and Nana are two actual human beings who now have to live with the results of his bonkers decisions. And the negative PR from this might end up setting back gene editing by a decade as the scientific community comes together to try to figure out how to stop this shit from happening again. 
Literally everyone is worse off for this. And not to be too subtle about my feelings here, but I do think that he should be fired into the sun on a rocket ship. Uh, Hey, I know maybe Elon Musk can help with that. We could convince them that this is a new experiment. And because we're all such rogue scientific all-stars, we don't need an ethics committee to review it. Just shove he into a tiny submarine coffin and strap it to a rocket and boom, straight into the sun. It's brilliant. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to start trying to drum up some venture capital for this right now.